everybody, it's Topwater Johnny here. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a review of Matt Frazier's Benji Wong Topwater Lure. Let's check that thing out. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, woo, holy cow, folks. Topwater Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that, get back here. That right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny. Look at that beast right there, baby. I think I won the tournament with that one right there. I am the one with this one. Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny here. Just want to welcome you to my next lure review here. And as you saw from the intro, I'm going to be reviewing the Benjin Wong Topwater Lure made by Matt Frazier. Now, before I kind of get into the specs and get a little bit more specific about it, I want to show it to you here real quick. But also, what I want to share with you is that I was at ICAST 2019, and I had a chance to go by Matt Frazier's booth and trade show area where I was able to actually see this lure firsthand really early before it got released. So what I want you to do right now is sit back and enjoy a little bit of video from ICAST where I am connecting with Matt Frazier. Enjoy. Here's another one I want to focus on for a moment. It's still a very cool looking lure right here. It is the Bitty Wong 285, and it's like a lizard. So look how long that thing is right there. So that thing is pretty unique as well. All right, everybody. We are here. That looks good. Hey, there's those lizards. <laughs> I know you got those iguanas, man. Iguanas or lizards or what? I don't know what you call them. What do you call them? Yeah, iguanas, lizards. lizards. Yeah, yeah. Are they are they currently out on the market? Uh, not yet. We haven't got them in America yet. Uh, we've got them in Australia. Just trying to crack the market in. Oh, you are, huh? Shouldn't be too far away. Hopefully, it's going to do some deals. Wow, yeah. those are those are really those are really nice. Let me every, see. every one of our nine baits has. Yeah, yeah but, well, that that is uh, that's amazing, man. Because I did a video on you yesterday, yeah. where I talked about the things over there on the contest, uh -huh. and I was like, "Dude, this thing's your place, man." Yeah. I'm sitting here telling people like, these things are so unique and innovative that they should definitely be the winners, man. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Well. All right. Let me see the interchangeable weights on. Let me see that again. Show that here to us. Swim bait here. It's a swim bait, everybody. With a hidden weight chamber. A hidden. So you can change the weights out between plastic or lead blocks. Wow. You can go from uh, slow sink to fast sink. You can fish it from two foot to thirty foot. Wow. So uh, toe point on the top, aluminum fins keeps the tracking deep. It's got an awesome action on the drop. You can fish it like a lipless crankbait. A swim bait, you can fish like a lipless crankbait. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah. And what's your name again? Matt Fraser from Barama Lewis. All right. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Well, I'm glad. hope you enjoyed that little video clip there. It was kind of really Matt Fraser at his booth talking about his lures. And you had a chance to really look at the lure that I'm going to be doing a review of. So what I want to do now is just kind of do a quick lure review, then have a conversation. Then we'll get it out on the water and we'll see what's what. So let's just go from there. All right. Okay, everybody, here we are. Just want to show you the lure right here and kind of give you some angles on it. It's a three, about a little over a three inch lure. As you can see right here, it used to have a tail on the back that was kind of built for it. But I put a feather tail on the back because the actual tail itself got, got bit off. So I wanted to switch out and I have to actually get a replacement tail from Matt so that I can get it, so that it has the original tail on it. But I put a feather on the back to make it work. As you can see, really great job here as far as gloss is concerned. Red eyes right there. It's got an actually uh, a really nice rattle in it. We'll talk about that. It's got some really nice big strong hooks there's the underbelly of it matt's brand is right there baby benji wong right there matt frazier kind of got that little red 
actually red right here in the uh, right around the top of it. So that's good for when fish see it from below and can strike at it. It's got, as you can see here, the cupped where the actual crawling mechanism is really built into the actual lure itself. If you look right here, you can see how they're actually screwed in there on the sides, on both sides here. They're actually screwed in. So that means you can actually remove them and it can slide out right here and it can be just a snaking lure or it can have that paddling process, really that paddling mechanism there. So this is just such a unique topwater lure and really kind of slick in how Matt has designed it. Like I said before, this is a lure right out of Australia. So it is quite the unique lure. So we're going to take another look at this and kind of get a little bit closer and have a little bit more conversation about it. All right. All right, everybody. Well, you got a closer look at the Ben Jing Wong. This is the actual baby right here, the baby Ben Jing Wong. So I just wanted to show you there. Notice the bottom of it's kind of got a little color right there at the top to help attract the fish. Nice, big, strong hooks. I put a feather tail on the back to keep that action going. As I said before, I actually had the tail bitten off on a short strike. So I really didn't have any footage of it, but I lost the tail, so I had to do something to fix it. So I just put this feather tail on the back. So, Matt, if you're watching this, yes, I'm going to need another tail for the back of this one, of course, so that I can have that really cool tail with the hook in it, it lodged into the tail as well. Now, the one thing that I want you to think about here is that when you're fishing top water, top water comes in different ways. Sometimes you can have bigger lures that make a lot of noise on surface. Then you have to have other top water lures that are a lot more subtle on top. And what I would call this is that in-between lure. Like as you've seen some of my videos, I have some that have really long wings out there and they make a lot of splashy noises. This right here is much more tighter. It's a much more tighter fit and a lot more conservative in its movement on top of the water. It does have a rattle, as you can hear right there, so it does make some noise on top, but it's really one of those in-between type of topwater lures that I believe would be a great collection to anyone's fishing arsenal. Now, what I'm going to do is leave a link to Matt's website in my video here, so that once you go down to the description box, you'll be able to see a link, and it'll take you over there so that you can check out all of his all of his lures but specifically the baby Ben Jing Wong now this is a lure that is currently in Australia so there is a little bit more cost to acquiring it at this point but as you heard from Matt he is working really hard to move into the states and hopefully by the time this video is released or soon after or maybe months after he will have a foothold here in the states and be able to offer more of these lures up he's got a great unique design and he's got something that here that's really special in top water and as you saw in the video in swim baits so i just encourage each and every one watching my videos to check him out and see what he has to offer he's got some really cool footage and some cool videos he's got his own instagram account as well and i think you'll learn a lot about these type of lures. As I said before, this is the baby Ben Jing Wong uh, top water lure. It's in the, it's a lizard, red eyes, great walking action here. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to get it out on the water so that you can watch it in action. And after you see it in action, I'll give you my closing thoughts and that'll be that. But I want to thank everybody for watching the video. Please like, subscribe to the channel. As always, I'm always trying to push out unique content that most people do not have or are not able to share. My unique advantage is top water and unique lures. So I hope you will continue to subscribe to the channel, tell other people about it, and just hit the bell notification so you're notified when I drop them. As always, I'm going to be dropping videos on Monday, every Monday, and on Monday, that's me actually fishing with the lure. And on Wednesday is when I'm actually going to do a lure review. So you will just know what's coming every week. Every Monday, fishing. Every Wednesday, lure review. That way I'm able to stay connected with you throughout the week. If you got questions or you got things you want to talk about, I'm able to respond. So once again, enjoy the rest of the video. 
And it's, remember that phrase that I always say, keep your line tight, because when they hit those tight water lures, like this, it's going to be a big bite. Enjoy the video. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Top Water Johnny, and we are here at the lake. Going to do our little practice session here. So we're going to throw this little baby Benji Wong, and so that you guys get a chance to see it in action in the water. So let's go ahead and get at it right now. All right. All right, everybody. It's Top Water Johnny here, and we got the baby Ben Jean Wong set up here on some braid, 30 pound braid, and also uh, on my Corrado DC. And we're going to go ahead and lob it out here and film it in action moving about. All right, then. Let's see here. As you can see, it's got that, that moving motion right there, that crawling motion. I'm going to put it, let's see here, put it out like right there. Okay, this will be a good one. So you can see it sitting out there, should be able to see it. And then as you can see, I'm bringing it in nice and easy. It's got that nice crawling motion right there. You know, it's a little bit, um, like I said, it's a little bit, you got to be, you got to slow it down. You really got to slow this down out here to make it, um, to make it really crawl well. And I've got it definitely on a high speed bait caster. So if I had it on my 200, I think it would be a lot slower. I could calm down, but I got it out there. So I'm try it again. And as you can see, there it is. As you can see it there, there we go. And then you see I got that tail back there wiggling. Now, if it was a, um, if I had the tail, the original tail that came with it, then it would definitely be a lot. You see that tail really working more. But I got a little, art, I got a little feather tail, treble tail back there, so that's why it's doing what it's doing. Let's see here. All right. Let's do it again. There it is. There's that movement we want. As you can see right there. Great action right there. Great action. So I'm really I'm really pleased with it here. It, it navigates really well. It's a smooth lure and it handles really smooth when you throw it. It really will throw a country mile and it's got a good movement as well. And if you're looking right there, as long as I keep the tip down there, you can see it does that nice crawling motion. And this is really a lure that I would say, if you're going to throw this one, you got to take your time. Like once you cast it out there, you get it out there where you want it. This is one that's going to definitely need to be one where, you know, it sits for a moment and you want all the circles to dissipate and then you want to start to bring this one in gradually and as you bring it in gradually that's when the hits happen that's when the opportunities happen you know that's when those big bass start to notice it so but as you can see it has a nice crawling action to it so like i said before i am really impressed with it Matt Frazier's done a great job designing this lure and putting fishermen in a situation where they can catch fish with it. So it's definitely, it works in Australia and it's definitely gonna work here in Florida. As you can see right here, it might be a little bright on you, but you can see it coming in. And even the, even the bluegill are looking at it like, what's going on with that, what's that, what's that about? So even the bluegill, as you can see, you probably can't see them, but they're all circled around it right now, looking at it, trying to figure out What's a Benji Wong and what does it do? Does it eat us or can we eat it? So it's definitely a really good lure and I definitely would recommend it as well. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here. Just want to thank you for checking out this lure review of the baby Benji Wong. I hope you got a chance to see it in action, see it moving around and see how it handles. Now you've seen the review of it. You heard me commentate about it. The next step is to catch some bass on it so the next time you'll see this lure in my video it'll be me catching fish on it so that's kind of where i work at from this point 
you've done the review now it's time to catch fish once again as i told everybody before please make sure that you like subscribe to the channel always explore new lures because new lures can make you a better fisherman because of situations and circumstances in the bio box below is a link over to matt frazier and his website where you can access all of his wonderful lures and what they do as well whether it's the crawlers or it is the swim baits so he's got really lots of cool lures over there i encourage you to go over check it out and even tell him top water johnny sent you so once again this is top water johnny thanking you please subscribe like to the channel hit the bell notification and always remember that phrase keep your line tight because when they hit that top water lure it's going to be a big bite. All right.